Hi, my name is Paulo Gomez. I'm the CTO of Cautex and we are here at the K-Show 2022 with our uh, value partners. My name is Andreas Wichnik. I'm representing Presero Polymers Austria. So I'm, I'm dedicated and working there in the R&D department and dedicated to the product development. Hello, yes, my name is Gerald Breuer. I am uh, head of marketing at uh, Erema Group. Erema Group is the world market leader uh, for uh, plastic recycling systems. It's a pleasure to work in this uh, corporation. Hello, my name is Henrik Eriksson. Uh, I'm technical product manager at the company Berlocher, who provides additives for recycled plastics. We at Berlocher, uh, we uh, like to try and facilitate the use of recycled plastics to ever more qualified applications. Um, and I think we have done this in a good way by taking part of this collaboration where we have shown, for example, that our additive can be used even in combination with the most sophisticated uh, recycling solutions that are available on the market, in this case from Prezero and Erema. Um, what I really like with this cooperation is that the push for it comes not from the recycling industry or from the recycling uh, in, um, um, manufacturer, it comes from, from, from Berlocher and this shows that uh, recycling is more and more an integral part of the, of the whole value chain. And it is so important that we show projects like this uh, to the visitors of the K-Show um, in order to show which quality levels are already possible uh, if uh, recycling uh, is done uh, for, for high-level products. Yeah, from the point of Prezero, I can add that what we like and what we are, what is our philosophy, is a collaboration along along the value chain. And if you do not collaborate, you cannot be successful. So this is our philosophy. We really believe in that, and I think this is here a perfect example that this is working if you really work together. Yeah, speaking up exactly in those words, it's working together as one uh, team, uh, pushing for a common goal, sharing the same passion for plastics. And, uh, and solving uh, one of the issues of uh, the source of the material, not uh, eliminating the need for that to go to a waste uh, in the end. And from our side is to show that you can actually build products in a very, very sustainable way using this supply uh, source of material. Uh, from our te technology point of view, uh, being able to build products more than just a theoretical exercise on PowerPoint, actually coming from the tests building the science behind, the processing science behind, and then ending up with a product. Uh, the aim of the project is actually to show that it, it is possible to uh, develop products that are sourced sustainably, that we can come to the market with a, a product that is uh, viable, can be industrialized, and then you can actually have a solution uh, to propose to customers. Yeah, from our side, the goal and the aim of the project was to show what is currently possible in recycling. So we invested a lot in the in the processing of the material. So we are we taking the bales. We are we are starting at 100% post-consumer material. So we wash it. We invested in the sorting. We we looked how can we process the material better. And how, how can we use additivation so that we can really came up with a product that it that you cannot tell it's it's not coming from it's not coming from virgin it should look the same like post consumer and virgin should be similar and this was more or less the aim of, of this project. Yeah, for us for us it is exciting to see how our technologies uh, can contribute uh, to such products. Um, and uh, in concrete, in this uh, project, uh, we had a special technology called uh, Interima Regrind Pro, which, which we developed especially um, for the processing of regrind material on one hand, and on the other hand, um, there is a so-called refresher, uh, where we do auto optimization. And auto optimization is a key topic to increase uh, the field of applications for uh, repellets. Yeah, and I think uh, a further value for, for us as an additive supplier has been to, to really get the, the input from a qualified equipment provider like Cautex in this case and, and get their opinion on 
how it is to work with the recyc recyclers in this case. And uh, we, have get, we have received their comments on, on, on details of the processing and this has really added value to our understanding of what is important for the industry in terms of providing a certain uh, quality of re recyclers. Well, my personal highlight, uh, I suppose, ending up with a product that virtually looks like something made uh, out of uh, virgin plastic. So, if anything, maybe our product looks too good. Uh, people have a hard time believing that it's, uh, it's actually uh, made from recycled plastics. And as uh, Mr. Breuer pointed out, uh, it doesn't even smell like recycled plastics. And uh, in this respect, I find uh, that we have been very successful in this work. Uh, for me, the most important thing was, um, it was interesting to see that uh, we initiated this project uh, and then it was really good for me to see. Uh, I mean, we had so much different samples uh, uh, and it happened, all these things happened on different places. So to coordinate all this needs really people dedicated and working uh, uh, into the direction of one goal uh, to show this product in the end at the K show and here we succeed. And this, this was really a highlight for me to see that there is really the will uh, to do so and this uh, felt in this, in the, within this group clearly for me. Yeah, from my side, I think that the personal highlight is just the product itself. If you look at the starting point, we're starting with more or less packaging waste and end up with a product that is looking more or less, it, it could be coming from Virgin as well. So I think it stands for its own. If you look at the, at the, at the bay from the starting point, if you then look at the final product, I think this is the story that tells more, pictures tells more than, than words could. Uh, just adding to that, um, how much fun it was doing the project. I think that we all share that, that passion of getting these solutions to the market. Um, and that reflected on how easy it was for us to get to an end result. As, as machine or technology providers, we didn't really struggle to get to the end product. And any uh, challenge that we faced, I think that the team did a super job on getting that done. Uh, quickly so we didn't really have many difficulties getting that product to, to run and yes it's great to see that final quality which is equivalent to a virgin material uh, and how easy it was for us to get all together to that point. Well I think that this is the beginning uh, we have proven that this approach works that we can take one concept and build this up for a product and now we just welcome other companies to join the, the party and, uh, and bring additional product ideas that we can actually bring from concept to a final product to the market. Yeah, as already said, I think it's, it's the first step or, or towards a, a more yeah, a collaboration should start. Or not, not only just with, with this one product, I think that this this is the key story that should be done for many products and I think it's also a key or it shows that this can work and it can work really, really, really well. So what the plastic industry needs is more re uh, repellets uh, in final products. Um, and this uh, will happen in the near future and this is accelerating more and more and more and this could be seen also within this project because uh, what I really like is that there is a lot of know-how in the different parts of the value chain, uh, be it uh, the additive supplier, uh, be it the recycler itself or be it uh, uh, the, mold, uh, uh, the blow molding uh, machinery manufacturer. And uh, there is already specific uh, knowledge about how to deal with recycling. And this uh, will bring us forward and this makes things much, much faster than it was in the, in the past. And this makes me really confident uh, that we will see a lot of these products in the future. So, as already pointed out by previous uh, colleagues here, um, I think uh, the part of collaborating uh, along the value chain is, is critical because it's difficult for us uh, at the base of the value chain to, to understand what is actually critical and important for, for making the final part in many cases. And here we have been able to, to have Cautex help us understand the critical point 
and to improve our product accordingly. And I hope we can serve as a good example to the rest of the industry uh, to, to do similar cooperations.